was another successful Monday at work. Not too bad. And now we've got people trying to cut us in line who obviously have no idea what they're doing and they're not getting in front of me. Uh-uh. No, no, no. See that? See that? Stupidity. Stupidity right there. lights in Roanoke that it's two lanes going to one or three lanes going to two this one's the two lanes going to one so this guy is not from around here he's from Alabama so I'm not gonna jump the line to stop him from coming over but this guy that just pulled up next to me it's not gonna in front of me like that if you know your lane ends and you try to jump in front of a whole line of people because you think you're more important this car you're not getting in front of ain't gonna happen ain't gonna happen if you're out of state I let it slide that I just caught that because that happens every day. Every single day at that light. And there's another light up here once I get to the city. Where I got three lanes going to two and the far left lane, that lane stops. So they have to merge into either the center lane or the right lane. And same thing, you've got a whole line of people trying to jump, jump in front because they think they're special. And guess what? You're not special. You are scum. And I hate you. And I wish your car would burn up. Because you are worthless to me. Worthless. Everybody's in the same situation. Everybody's trying to go home. You are not different. You are not special. You are not an ambulance. You are not a police car. You stay behind me. Get it? You stay behind me. So anyway, I'm on my way to the gym, yet again. Uh, definitely have to get a good workout in today. If, if the rest of the week is like it was today at work, I'll be good, I'll be able to hit the gym every day but Wednesday. I always work over Wednesday, so I really can't ever do it on Wednesday. But I'll be able to hit the gym every day. That's four days, I don't go on the weekend, God forbid. I can't leave the house with my wife and the two kids by ourselves hard enough, I just go to the store or something, so. That's not gonna happen. But if I get four solid days in, I'll be feeling a lot better by myself. We haven't, we haven't eaten very well the past couple days, so. Of course, I say that at the beginning of every video. Oh, I feel so terrible. I think one day I'm gonna put the camera on the outside of the car as I go through downtown, and just kinda take you on a little tour of Roanoke. Because it really is a pretty city. I mean, it's not a big city, obviously. There's like, it's like kind of one big building and a bunch of little like medium-sized skyscrapers. I think there might be like 15 stories max. Probably see over here. We got the rail yard. Which, by the way, we have on a new hockey team in Roanoke starting this fall there are the rail yard dogs personally I would have just gone with rail dogs but it's up to them I guess it's their team their money whatever um, we love hockey we're big Caps fans if they would uh, get past the second round of the playoffs that'd be nice but you know I guess that's what it is to be a hockey fan anymore team do 
great all season long and then just not show up in the playoffs. But now we got a local team, so we can actually go and enjoy the games themselves. So just watching them on TV. Uh, they got pretty good prices. I, I don't remember exactly, but I think it'll cost us like, I don't know, 45 bucks for the whole family to go. Which I mean, yeah, it's expensive, but it's cheaper than a movie anymore. Movies just cost you 18, 19 dollars a piece now. Ridiculous. But we're definitely really excited about having hockey back and running. It's been several years. We used to have the Express. They were a big team in the ECHL. And now I think we're in the Southern Professional Hockey League, the SPHL. Definitely cool, though. Definitely cool. We went to the uh, Guns and Hoses game last year. That was a lot of fun. It, they don't ever stop the clock, so the game goes by really fast. But we met my parents out there. My little boy loved it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We're excited to have, have real hockey back in Orlando now, though. It's like that. They try to cut in front of everybody. But uh, yeah, I was talking to a guy who worked today about. Well, first of all, he loves he loves the S two thousand. I was talking to him about it. So he used to date a girl with one. I said, "Well, you did drive it, right?" He said, "Well, yeah, yeah, yeah." There's another guy at work that's got another yellow S two thousand, and he says it's his wife's car, but he drives it every day. It's very odd. Wife's car, yeah, right. So uh, anyway, I was talking to this other guy about S two thousands and just talking about you know what I would like to do with it. And, what I have done to it, which I've told you before, it's not much. Quarter intake, exhaust, oil, tires, that's pretty much it. Um, my ultimate goal though is to make it like a full on built for street car. And I don't really want to race it. I'm not into that. I'm too old. I can't risk the. Uh, can't risk the ticket or fines or jail time or whatever it is nowadays for revving your motor at people. Um, but I'm still torn as to what I want to do with this thing. There's obviously a lot of different options. I could build it all motor. Nobody ever does that. I could have it built for boost. Uh, if it's boosted, I could turbocharge it or I could supercharge it. I'm personal supercharging. Instant power. I'm not looking to make, you know, 1,100 horsepower on this thing, but if it made 400, 500 of the wheels, I'd be more than happy with that. Obviously, I like the body to be gone over and redone properly, get the dings out, get the, get the scratches out, maybe redo the interior. I just want to look nice. I want it to look original. I want it to look like it came out of the factory a certain way. Um, I don't want anything crazy on it though. I don't really necessarily want a big wing or anything like that. I just want it to look good. I just want it to look nice. I want it to run right. I want it to run better than you know, from the factory. But another option would be dropping an LS motor in it. Probably either an LS, well, more likely an LS2. They're probably one of the cheaper ones to get get a hold of, or LS1 from uh, early 2000s, late 90s Camaro or Firebird or a GTO. I know there's a there's a conversion kit with Prelude. Man, my mustache is getting all up in my nose. There is a conversion kit from. What is it from? Import Muscle? I think Import Muscle makes it. To to swap it over, all you gotta do is provide the drivetrain, meaning motor transmission, and I think the rear end is either for a R200 300ZX rear end, non-turbo, or one of the new Camaro SS rear ends. I'm not really sure which one which one they do. I don't remember if it's two different people or two different companies that make it or what, but um, so that's another route. So you're looking at you know easily 400 to the to the crank anyway, but you get the torque. Obviously, 
obviously I can't throw thirty or forty thousand dollars into this thing. I got two kids, a mortgage. Thankfully no car payment. This ain't the forerunner both paid off. But two kids, a mortgage, daycare. My wife likes to do things to a brand new house. So car stuff's kinda on the back road. Who knows? Eventually maybe I'll be able to. But I mean realistically I'll need another car first because I can't just go dropping this thing off somewhere. It's, okay, here you go. Here's here's my car, here's 30 grand. Go ahead and do this because God forbid I'm not gonna do a swap on this thing. I can't build a motor, I don't have machining equipment. I could take a motor in and out, but you know what am I I can't home cylinders and sleeve a block and shave a block or deck the uh, deck the block, shave the head, is that what it's called? Something like that. I don't know, but I can't do all that. So somebody else could have to do it. And when it comes to doing suspension and brakes and Stuff like that, yes. Obviously, I can do that. That's not hard to do. I was a mechanic for a while. Worked on a lot of German cars. Like I told you before, I learned to drive a stick on a Carrera, so I learned to do a lot of things on Porsches and BMWs and Mercedes and Audis and Volkswagens. Oh, here's that white Camaro again. V6 Camaro with probably a $8,000 body kit when he could have just bought a, an SS. Oh well, to each their own, I guess. I'm not necessarily a hater on cars. But I look at some things and I go, I don't know if I would have done that. All right. Let's see what kind of douchebags we got here because the light's green. The lane over here on my driver's side ends. We still got people running up as fast as they can. Try to cut in line. Everybody's waiting to get through the light. And they think they're special. Let's we'll see what this guy does. Let's see what this Durango does. He's gonna come running up, isn't he? He's gonna come running on up. Running on up. Oh, oh no. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody else back there trying to jockey in. We got a Subaru. We got to get them that in. There's always somebody that lets them in. I don't get it. You get this far away from the car in front of you and you stay there. That way they learn. They have to learn a lesson. Well, I'm going to sit through a couple more lights and then head to the gym. When I'm done with the gym, we'll see what happens. I got to go home and cook something. Stop it quick. Anyway. Let me get out of here. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Here we are again. Welcome back. That's what it's all about. Tricep workout, chest workout. Ran out of time. I got to go home and cook some dinner. Have a little pork uh, pork tenderloin marinated in I think teriyaki, and I will be cooking it with a mango chutney salsa. Yeah, sounds good, right? I think I'm gonna grill it actually. I'm gonna grill it first. Get a nice little char on the outside, and then I'm probably gonna cut it up. Throw it into the mango. What is that guy doing? He's gonna cause a wreck. I just pulled off for no reason. Yeah, grill it up. Try to mix some sweet potatoes. I think bacon sweet potatoes takes a little longer than my wife's things. My wife thinks, but uh, we'll see what happens. Now they're changing lanes. I can't see around him. We got a truck. Come on, I want to go. Yeah. I'll meet the wife and kids at the house. Now we got a Camaro.
we can mosey home. Actually, traffic's not too bad today. By the way, it is very, very hot with a beard right now. I'm letting it grow back out. I cut it all off in early June, I think. But uh, it's definitely hot. And it's not easy to keep properly either. Keep it trimmed so the shape's good. You gotta brush it, you gotta put oil in it. Oh, there's the wife. There she is. Look at that sexy thing. My wife's hot too. That's a good looking truck. She doesn't know it, but she wants to race. <laughs> Remember how I was saying that I never work out on Wednesday? Well, Wednesday just happens to be leg day. <laughs> it is funny to see people go in there that their arms are humongous. They've got, you know, 24, 25 inch arms, and their legs are this big around. It's like they walk in on a chicken. I have naturally larger legs anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. I do a lot of walking, a lot of going up and down stairs at work. So I've got pretty spectacular calves, pretty spectacular calves. We're an old guy anyway. Oh well, I'm gonna try to beat it home. Try to get it going. Obviously the wife's right there, so she have to watch the kids while I cook. We'll see how that goes. They're a lot of fun though, they really are. That little boy is a little over three and a half and he's got uh, his own little personality now and it is something he is stubborn 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 my little girl is one and a half and she's just adorable no matter what she does I took a video of a water gun fight we had yesterday it was, it was pretty funny maybe I'll post that I don't know yet we will see I'm out.